and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Today I'm going to be doing part one of two of my March book haul. Um, so this month I've been really, really fortunate to be sent quite a few books from the publishers and I've also bought quite a few books. Uh, it was also Mother's Day and uh, Minnie, my cat, bought me some books because that's what everyone who's got cats do. Uh, and I've also got another exciting book that was sent to me via uh, Brittany from Under the Radar Books Etsy store, which I'll talk about a bit later on. So I'm going to start with the books that I have bought or have been given to me as gifts and then in the next, uh, in part two of the haul, I'm going to go over the books that were sent to me by publishers. So I will start with the books that I've bought and all of these are second-hand books bought from charity shops and one from the library, in fact. Um, the first one is this beautiful edition of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, um, which is um, published by Vintage Classics. Now, I bought this in a um, second-hand bookstore, uh, second-hand bookshop in Wimbledon when I was visiting my friends Ryan and Amy. Holler out there, Ryan and Amy. Um, and this, I, I keep seeing these in, in the shops and keep thinking how beautiful they are. Now, I already own three cop, three editions of Pride and Prejudice, but I really like these little, I love the little cuteness of it, like how small it is in your hands. Um, and I also love the fact that the, the front covers and the, um, the inside pages are, um, so, so you'll find another book in the series with this as a front cover, and you'll find another book with these, this, this pattern as the end pages. Um, so eventually I would like to, own them all um, but these are just beautiful I think to have on display as well they're gorgeous and I think eventually I'm going to want to start putting books out on display and this is a big one it was three English pounds um, it is a bit ripped but hey it still looks beautiful you can't tell the next book was a complete bargain at 50p and that is We Need New Names by Novila Bulawayo. Um, this I, one of my friends has read um, having and said it was absolutely brilliant. I don't actually know what it's about. Let's read and discover together. 50p, I can't believe it. Darling and her friends live in a shanty called Paradise, which of course is no such thing. It isn't all bad though. There's mischief and adventure, games of find Bin Laden, stealing guavas, singing Lady Gaga at the tops of their voices. They dream of the paradises of America, Dubai, Europe, where Madonna and Barack Obama and David Beckham live. For darling, that dream will come true, but like the thousands of people all over the world trying to forge new lives far from home, darling finds this new paradise brings its own set of challenges for her and also for those she's left behind. That sounds bloody brilliant. I can't believe this was 50p. I kept seeing it pop up in my Goodreads. A few of my friends had read it and I really wanted to read it. And then I saw it in the library sale for 50p. Absolutely amazing. I might take off this crappy cover though to make it even more good but yeah looking forward to reading that the next two are two that I bought in a um, charity shop actually one David bought them with his own money but one's mine and one's his but I am eventually going to read his as well um, and that was from a charity shop in London when we were visiting my friend Doris and her fiance down at the weekend hello um, the first one is Hood by Emma Donoghue now I've only ever read Room by Emma Donoghue which I absolutely adored um, I tried reading The Red Letter and just could not get into it and gave up on it this is about a, um, a, a couple I think they're, they're friends and one of them dies in a car crash and it's about oh, cheerful uh, and it's about the other girl so there's there's two people Penn and Cara I'm not sure if they're man and woman or woman and woman or woman and a man and man. When Cara dies in a car crash, Penn is left to cope with a secret widowhood. Along with that burden comes a hidden story of painful and pleasurable memories. So yeah, it sounds really interesting to me and I would like to read a bit more um, Emma Donoghue, just having enjoyed Rim so much, but I am aware that uh, all of her books are so so different so I, I don't doubt this will be anything like room at all but yeah looking forward to reading that and then David bought himself Ready Player One um, by Ernest Cline which I also want to read and this is about this has got a lot um, of gaming references and is um, a lot of 80s references and it's about a, a billionaire man who sets up this online um, sort of game which I believe is called Oasis or it's in the Oasis or something like that uh, oasis and um, he hides his massive foot when he dies he hides his massive fortune within this game and then um, somebody can win the massive fortune and the rights to his game I believe so I think it sounds like it's gonna be really super fun a couple of my friends have read it and said that because I'm not that much into gaming I might not like it too much but I'm really willing to give it a go and also it's been made into a film this year so I think that's quite exciting so the next two books are the books that um, Minnie bought me for Mother's Day <laughs> Minnie's my cat and I love her and I'm her mother. Hey, she's going to buy me a present for Mother's Day. The first one is Eleanor Ferrente, my brilliant friend, which is doing the rounds on BookTube at the moment, super popular, um, and is the first in a series of books by Eleanor Ferrente, which I believe are um, semi-autobiographical. I don't know that for certain. I just know one of the characters is called Eleanor. Um, and it's set in 1950s. And it's a story about friendship of Eleanor and Lila, um, who live just outside of Naples. Um, 
I don't think this would ordinarily appeal to me, but everyone who, all the reviews I've seen of it seemed absolutely amazing, so uh, looking forward to reading that, but this front cover is just the naffest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but yes, I'm looking forward to reading that. I also got sent a copy of this from the publisher, so I've got two, so I might read both of them and see if there's any differences. I won't do that, really. Uh, the next one that Minnie bought me was All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Uh, this is a YA book, um, and I keep hearing good things about it, but I don't actually know what it's about. I think it might have something to do with mental health. Theodore Finch wants to take his own life. I'm broken and no one can fix it. Violet Markey is devastated by her sister's death. In that instant we went ploughing through the guard realm. My words died too. They meet on the ledge of a school bell tower and so their story begins. It's only together they can be themselves. I send a message to Violet. You are the colours in one at full brightness. You're so weird, Finch, but that's the nicest thing anyone said to me. But as Violet's world grows, Finch begins to shrink. How far will Violet go to save the boy she has come to love? Yeah, sounds okay. I haven't read any. I keep saying I haven't read any YA for ages. I've just read. Like, I'm reading, asking for it right now. But I feel like I haven't read read any YA for ages. I'll read it soon. Uh, and the last one is a book that was sent to me via um, Brittany, who is who runs the channel Under the Radar Books, which is an amazing channel full of like books that you've never heard of. And I literally watch all her videos. Like, well, I want that. Well, I want that. Well, I want that one now too. Well, I want that one. She has opened an Etsy store um, um, under the premise that you can have a blind date with a book. So you get to go onto the Etsy store, of which I will leave a link below, and you pick um, a genre that you like, or you can pick a surprise genre, which is what I did. Hello. Um, and she will send you a book based on on what genre you've picked, um, wrapped beautifully. I, I did an unboxing of this and I will link the video below um, but just to let you know it is not the best angle of me <laughs> I regret that angle so much um, so yeah but the video uh, the book I got was Bobcat and Other Stories by Rebecca Lee which is just an amazing amazing cover of um, a, a bobcat I believe a cat uh, and it's all short stories and it's just beautiful and the French flaps on it are lovely and I just can't wait to read it and I think if anyone has heard that idea and think that's really good idea then definitely definitely go and check out Britney's Etsy store um she ships internationally so you can get it wherever you are in the world but they are so so I'm so excited to get this book and to get started on it so those are the books that I bought myself or excuse me <coughs> Those are the books I bought myself or um, have been bought for me as gifts and that was part one of my March book haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you've read any of these books um, then please let me know and I would love to hear from me and I will see you for part two which I'm about to film now in this very same jumper and necklace combination. Goodbye!